Hello, my name is Quincy Coleman, founder of the Black Pride Movement, and this is our new web series to discuss the problems and also the solutions. Yeah, the problems in the black community and the solutions on how to fix the problems in the black community. Um, today's uh, discussion or lecture is on male and female relations in the black community, whether it be uh, mother-son, sister-brother, father-daughter, boyfriend-girlfriend, husband-wife. You know, uh, this is my best friend, Paul Bly. This is my girlfriend, Taja Bovee. My name is, of course, Quincy Coleman. And we all come from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. both um, same cultural, but both econ different economic, social backgrounds that will give us a wider variety of opinions and views for this particular discussion. So I want to start off by saying, what are the problems that we face in the male-female relations in the black community? And I'll start by asking Taja Bovee this. Um, I feel as a woman, we don't look at our men as the same look at our fathers. Because many of us grew up not with our fathers, so looking for a man, we don't treat y'all how y'all like to be treated. So you agree with the fact that you don't treat us how you like to be treated? Yeah, I do. Why do you think this is? What do you think? The, what do you think? Yeah, well, a smile on her face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's, I know it's true. I can't deny it. Because, personally, yes. I am a female who feel like a woman can do it all. And I, I will say this. I agree with you, sister. I agree with you. Uh, no, no. Um, I, I also agree. I, I feel like women, women, women are are as capable of doing just as much as a man can do in, in today's society. But I also believe that there are certain positions and certain roles that women and men play. Um, not, that's you know, critical to a relationship. That's critical, yeah, to a, uh, uh, to a male-female relationship, whether it be father, son, mother, daughter, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, so, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like, women... You guys are capable of doing whatever you want. I'll say this as yeah. far as uh, the black community is concerned. In the black community, we hear a lot of opinions about her saying women should be able to do it all and him even agreeing women should be able to do it all. If you look at statistics, statistics will show you that in high income households that function properly and the kids grow up successful and everybody everything works out the social norm way, you have a certain role played by the man and a certain role played by the woman. A man is born to play a certain role and a woman is born to play a certain role. And that does not make the woman have to be submissive to the man because a woman should never be submissive to a man. But you have to understand the roles that both play in culture and society. For but but okay. at the same time, a lot of situations don't pan out that way. Oh, a lot of situations, yeah, like you, you have broken families. You got you got women that have to do certain things. You got men raising kids by themselves that have to do, of course. You know, and that's the problem. As much. And I think that's that's also one of the problems that we face because a man can't be a woman just uh -huh. because a woman can't be a man. You need both pieces to complete a person. But you know? a lot of the problems in the African American community, if we all just had that unity at home, that mother and father in the house, that peace, that we all get along, we know how to handle situations, we wouldn't have the problems we have. But you have a lot of women, and I speak for today, you have a lot of women that will drive the man away. And what I mean by drive the man away, I say economically, you'll have a, a woman that went to school, got her degree, makes six figures, which is great. And you'll have a man that might because you know women graduate at a way higher rate than men from universities you have a man that uh works hard might be a truck driver brings home thirty thousand dollars a year but is a hard working man mm. they will get together and the woman will feel like because she makes more she is the man in the relationship and i don't think that's the case because or she no no she 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 uh, but, runs the house or she not, run, not the man the or she or can't she can't be the man or, or she, and, but they feel like they can't but I mean, right. it, like, it, I mean, you are entitled to more of a say so in what happens with your money. But yeah, but, but so wait, once but, again, once again, I, I think that's a problem because once again, when we look at relationship as far as marriage, marriage is not yours and mine. 
marriage is ours. It's not. It's not. It's yeah, but behind all that, sometimes women, as women, we feel right. Yeah, we may make more. We may make more. But if you're pulling your weight, then we're fine. Pulling your weight. Pulling your weight. Pulling your weight is, is is different. For example, if we're married and you make a hundred thousand dollars a year and I make thirty thousand dollars a year and you come home with a brand new Mercedes that's a lesson say I didn't tell you because I make more. That's a decision. Oh, that's unacceptable. That's a decision but to discuss. But a lot yeah. of women would say, Well, it's my money, I can do what I want. But like I say, a woman wants a man to be a man only in certain situations. I make this point all the time. A woman will look at you and have a discussion about money and you sit here telling me I make more than you. But as soon as you hear a glass shatter, you want the man to step up and be a man. As soon as a mouse runs in the kitchen, oh, I want the man to handle it. As soon as somebody calls you out. Because and, money makes the world go round, and we want to control our money just as much as y'all. But, but, just as much as a man don't want a woman to step into their finances. No, 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 no. I don't mind a woman's decisions. Women don't want men controlling everything. But you're not hearing what I'm saying. You, you, I understand that. But then it seems like to me that a woman doesn't need a man. You can't ask a man to be a man on something as far as protection, defense and standing up for you and not want a man to be a man as far as economic because a man needs to feel like he's useful now i'm not saying of course you have some some men out here who aren't men and are not pulling their not weight pulling nobody's it. saying a bum yeah. but just because i don't make as much as you doesn't mean that because i wouldn't if i made a hundred thousand dollars a year most men are very generous i have had situations in my personal life where i can say i have made money i've always been generous it's never been about the money but a lot of times we find in the women when they get their money it's it's it, I want it to be yeah. mine. I mean, I see what you're saying. But when it comes from a when the man is making less and the woman is making more and the man wants to be more generous with his money, the women say, okay, I can't do this, this, this. I can't make any decision I want with this money because I know I have to pay these bills. This has to be done. So no, I can't be as lenient or frugal with my money just as a man would be. But no, but once again, when you're married, it's not your bills. It's our bills. Yeah, it's our, our bills, bills. But, but you, if but, you're not making as much, I have to think. But, I have to put up more money and I'm unable to do as many things as you would like with it. It's not so much that you're making more and you're unable to do things that you like. Because if we have a $100,000 mortgage and I'm making thirty a year and you're making hundred a year, we put up the same amount. Just you'll have more left over at the end of the month than I will. Yeah. So it's not so much that you'll have more for leftovers. You have more left to, to spend money and do what you want to do. But once again, how can you really ask a man to be a man and not want to be, and not, because of course you make more money. Nobody's asking you, you have to give your check to the man on the table at the end of the month and say, here, honey, I got all the money. But you have to certainly respect the fact that he is the man in the relationship and not because you're inferior in any type of way, but because if you want a man to be a true man, you have to make him feel like a man, just as he make you feel like a woman. You wouldn't want us to say, hey, sweetheart, pump the gas. Or you wouldn't want us to hear a <laughs> bump in the night and say, hey, here's my gun. Go check it. Because yeah, right. you find that unacceptable. I, that I, I agree. You would find that unacceptable. I agree, but just to be honest, we find that hard to do. And I know, and, and I find it, and, and it, and so, it, but it, 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 but it makes men find it hard to do to stay with somebody like that. And that's why you said something broken house up. And if you're not treating me like a man, I'm going to go find a woman that is you. So how do we treat the black man? How you want to be treated there? But Paul, how do you think we treat the black man? How you want to be treated? I feel that uh, if yes, um, as far as you know, him playing his role in this in in, in the joint relationship where you guys are are equals or you know like coexisting, and you know, I I feel like there's certain things that are to be done by by the man that that should happen by the man so what's that so how are we supposed to make it easier for us women to understand what role a man is supposed and, to be playing that means let me touch up not even certain things to be done by the man because if the woman is bringing in most of the money then of course it is the woman's money but as a woman you should understand that your man wants to be a man. See, it's not that you, I'm making you understand. We understand our man want to be a man, but we gotta, oh, no. we gotta, we want to see the effort. Oh, it, we, we, it, even if we want to see the effort. See the example I gave you was see, not that it was a, a bum. All around that you're doing your part. Uh, see the example I gave you not was that you were dating a bum. I said you were dating a dedicated truck driver who just happened to make less than you. Okay, so you well then in that situation things may be different. Okay, but that's but that's that's the vast majority of situations. But it, it's not no. like. No, it's not like, or or maybe then the women are selecting the wrong men. Like I said earlier, you can't go get a man. I believe I said it. 
Well, I'll say it again. You can't go get a man from a bar or a club or see a man at a gas station on the street because he dresses nice, has true religions on and say, I want that to be my man, but then reject the man who dresses nice and doesn't partake in all the foolishness of the world. Might be in church and say, That's because oh, most women nowadays is caught up in shaking their butt, trying to get on videos, want to be like all these models when it's just not realistic. So they're expecting what they see on TV now. Yeah, but, that, but that's not, you have to understand, and our people have to understand, what you see on TV is socially engineered for you to think that your culture is inferior. What you see on TV Well, is, how do we avoid it? Because, I mean, we see it on TV. We see it on the radio. We but see, that, see that, on that, that once again, that once again we starts. We see it in our community. That once again, no, not everybody sees it in that community. But once again, that starts with the parents. If you build a successful household where this is being practiced, you won't find... I, I met a young lady, and I'll just take into a brief story. I met a young lady who was 25, and she had a two-year-old daughter. And she was playing Gucci, Juicy, Juicy J around her, her two-year-old daughter. And I was saying, wow, uh, well, she can't understand. I was like, why would, you, why would you play such profanity around your daughter? Well, she can't understand this. And I said, yes, she can. She's soaking this in. So subconsciously, this little girl's going to hear, you know, I'm about to throw a couple thousands, you know, shake that ass, you know, subconsciously. So when you build a household, when you build a household that's all together, where the man plays his role and people... When the man plays his role and can guide the family along a moral basis, you know, so he can say, hey, don't play that around my daughter because my dad and my mom didn't play that around me. It, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. You have to let a man be a man. You have to let a woman be a woman. But you have to understand the play, especially biblically. I don't want to get too much into that. If you want to go biblically, you know. But we don't even have to go biblically, uh -huh. honestly, because, like, we don't. The role, but I still, no. I don't understand. So what still does a woman need to do as a woman to make her man feel like a man? What do the African-American no. woman need to do? What she, I, the role it, of a it, it actually, it depends on, on, on who the person I can't give you, he can't give you a sweeping, a sweeping nobody, answer. But what I can say is that it is a man's job to teach the young man or the, his son how to be a man and how to treat a young lady. And it's also a, uh, it's also his job to teach his daughter how a man should love her and what to expect as far as like love and what, what a man needs to do. And when you as don't- As far as being a man. And, and you know, it's just, just as far as being leader of someone, of, of, of a group of, that you call your family. And it's also a woman's job. And it's all a woman's job to raise her son to and, and teach him how to care for another mm -hmm. woman and how to, you know, it's touch a get in touch into his feminine side and to, in order to connect with her. But it, he's right. And it's also the woman's job mm -hmm. to teach her daughter the ways to be a a, 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 proper, a, woman. a proper woman, the uh, you know, just yeah, a woman. And, and we don't mean proper woman. And I think we don't mean proper woman as you yeah. cooking, cleaning, and being submissive all the time. But we do mean proper woman as far as Curious conducting, as far as conducting yourself Thank as you. a woman. Because, like I said again, you've never heard Perez Scott King, you know, cuss Martin Luther King out in the speech. I mean, she, you have arguments, but you you have to understand the premise and the basis on what the relationship is built on. I'm a man, you are a woman. I'm the head of the household. Your job is to support me and I support you. And in turn, we have a mutual respect. Not the other way around, because no matter how much money you make, no matter how tough you think you are, you'll always be a woman. And that's why if you ever, if to our audience, if you, I hope I'm targeting a younger crowd, but if I'm not, I'm going to speak to them for a minute. In today's society, you have a lot of, I guess we can call it dykes. And if you've ever been to a public school or a school of any kind where you're in an environment where you see dykes, you'll understand that a dyke always wants to act like a, a man. And I've actually seen a dyke try to fight a man. And so she said, oh, if you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. The dude said, all right, hit me. And as soon as that man connected with the dyke, she said, don't hit me, I'm a girl. So you want to be masculine. You know, if these women want to, even if it's not a dyke, these women want to be so masculine. Oh. I hit a nigga back, excuse my language, you know, I'll do this, I'll do that. But as soon as I get the, you know, as soon as the man gets the really, all right, you want to be a man? You want to be a man? Bam. It's, oh, don't hit me, I'm a woman, you know? 
You can't have both. And I and I speak from I speak from personal experience when I say that. <laughs> you can't have both. Either you want me to be a man or you want me to be a woman. Cause I'm not you can't have you ain't got time. You can't you can't you can't you can't separate the two. I'm not a man here and a woman here. Just like you're not a woman here and a woman there. I wouldn't say you mean in touch with your feminine side, of course. Of course, no, and, and that's to an extent. That's, that's that's a completely different thing. And honestly, and um, like I kind of agree with what you know, you, you Quincy is saying. Yeah. As far as like, yeah, you cannot, you know, fuck up to a guy and expect him to just take it easy. Take it easy, you know, because it's like you know, when 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 a, a man is challenged. I mean, I God knows what will happen. Like me personally, I wouldn't. Uh, of course, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do anything. But some we have but we I have think, some people out here. I think us women that are like, yeah, we try to be masculine because I'm gonna tell how I feel. I don't think it's a I, masculine I thing. I think it's I more feel. of a like I'm gonna stand up for myself. No, it's a ma- it's a masculine thing. It can't. Yeah, yeah. In some aspect, but like in most, uh, in most Let's situations see. that I've seen with girls trying to, you know, girls. Saying that, oh, I'll be a uh, dude's behind or whatever. I'll because fight a dude. It's, in it's, most it's more cases, though, it's self because... defense. It's like, I want to, you know. Well, I, I haven't seen that. That's shooting spirit. But let's let her, let's let her talk, and we'll close and, and find out the solution so we can do the 50 problem. Go ahead. Because, that's one of we don't get our point across. I don't care yeah. if we got to scream at you, we got to yell at you. God forbid, sometimes it even leads to, I got to hit you so you sit down and listen. No, Tasha, and let me let me stop you right there. What you said is con- extremely, extremely not constructive at all. She just said for our audience, if I have to hit you to get my point across, I will do so until you sit down and listen. Now, if a man took that approach, it you know what happens? Problem. It will be a big problem. You don't hit anybody to get your point across. If you want to be a man, then you be a man on your own. But then don't expect a good man. Now, here are the solutions. I'm going to talk a little bit about the solutions to the problems that we have as a community. Cultural education is the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. For example, if you look back to cultures in Africa and traditional African cultures, you can, you can see that these societies were functioning perfectly. The men did their job as men. The women did their job as women. And everything worked great. If you look back in the, even the early, you know, 50s and 60s, when the black communities were shepherded and segregated, we did what we had to do as men and women. You didn't see all this foolishness running around. You know, so you have to understand why this is happening and the solutions that we have to do in order to, in order to fix it. You know, you have to, to a certain extent, Play your role, and I know you heard it. And I play my role, you know. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna pump the gas, and I'm a, I'm gonna defend you. But hey, I need to have some say so and some some put my foot down power if I'm gonna be able to be a man. And if I can't have that, it'll never get done. You were born a woman. I was born a man. Now we may not like these roles, but that's who we are. The culture, the culture has been socially designed to pit black man against black woman. It's been designed where you get a little power at your job and then you think you come home and you bring that power home. And you know, you want a power trip. You 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 know it's hard to turn the power on and off. It's it it's it hard to turn the power on and off, but you gotta understand first you are a wife before you are anything else. You are a wife before you're anything else. I didn't marry you because you were a good businesswoman. I married you because you were beautiful and you could help me do what I need to do. Coretta Scott King didn't say, and Betty, Betty Shabazz didn't say, hey, Malcolm, I'm doing this whole catering thing. Come help me. She said, Malcolm, you're doing this whole thing. Let me help you. Let me help you. And I hate to say that because some of our viewers are going to take it as, oh, that's chauvinistic. Why can't we? But it's not that at all. Behind every great black man is a great black woman. So young ladies, let's start acting like it. And of course, young men, you can't expect a black queen if you're not treating her like a king. I say that once again. You can't expect, a, yeah, if, you, if you're not treating her like a queen. Thank you. So I just want to thank you guys for watching the show and listening. And, and I'm going to give a closing remarks. Um, yeah. Uh, solutions. 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 Yeah. Uh, I think 
my friend Quincy here has touched on pretty much what needs to be, uh, what needs to happen, I guess. Um, you know, it's, it's really up to, you know, you all as individuals to make the changes in your lives. And, you know, like, I, I believe that, you know, if, you know, if I do my, uh, do my best to better myself and my partner does the best to better herself and we come together and we're better people and, you know, we can get a better result. And be aware of the social, of the social forces that are trying to pit you against one another. Closing yeah, comments. Because, uh, so we ask when you go home, just try to unite your family. Try to bring everyone together. Try to yeah. sit down. Try to not have so much arguing. Solution. Try to be a family again. And we ask after you watch this video, please comment below and tell us what you think about our video and how you can better your African American community to where we can have strong family, strong community, support one another. Strong relationship between men. And women, whether it be mother, son, uh, sister, brother, husband, wife. Uh, thank you again, Father God. Thank you again. And Thanks don't for forget to check out the webpage. We'll leave a link below. Thanks, Thanks. for listening.